And that is a website called ShotDeck. Um, it's right now in closed beta. Um, I think you can request for a sign up and um, there shouldn't really be any issue why you shouldn't uh, be able to get one. Um, so it's a service for, for people in the entertainment industry um, who need to build art direction decks um, and all sorts of other stuff. Um, and they want to, they need um, reference from other movies, um, basically still frames. And um, here's basically uh, an interface which allows you to either browse the movies. Let's get a uh, second to load. So you have tons and tons of movies here. You can search by that or you can browse the actual shots and then um, you have a filter here you, you can also like here yeah, lighting type um, hdmi uh, hmi leds lots of cool stuff aspect ratios time period you have so many different kinds of filters even like lens uh, the kind of lens you can search for shot type uh, aerial overhead like look at all this stuff it's crazy um, establishing shots and um, you can search for all of this kind of stuff. So let's see, let's say I really like this Blade Runner shop shot. Um, and then you can get um, like a, here, you can get the big version. It's all 19, 1920 by 800 uh, or 1920 full HD um, pictures with really, really great quality. And you don't only get like uh, the, the kind of random shots from some of these automated services, but you get actually the the cool looking um, nice shots that um, you need and you want to reference. So while we have our reference for just what we're designing, um, we also want to collect reference for the kind of mood, the kind of cinematic um, flair that we want to achieve. And of course, if we talk about cinematic stuff, we need to reference cinema and we need to reference good cinema. We don't want to reference shitty movies um, that look bad. So you can see here, we have tons and tons and tons of stuff. The, the, it's, it, it loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. And um, of course we can have a look at all these um, movies and just be inspired by whatever we accidentally find. Um, uh, this looks just fantastic in terms of color grading and everything. So we want to find good images um, based on the color grade, um, the the lighting, um, the kind of shot used. And here you can actually see, um, here you can actually see what has been used, um, which lens, um, I have no idea how they found that out, um, frame size, lens size. So you can, you have all this information which really helps you to um, try to, if you try to emulate that mood in, in, in our, in our um, scene, we can play with those values um, and um, try to get the similar kind of results. And it helps us to understand like um, what we need to have in the shot, like dark areas, bright areas, how dark, how bright, um, the kind of uh, dynamic range and whatever they're using here. So that's all really, really cool. And um, we can also, like, we can go if you want to say, like, we need something, There's some low cost contrast images here, maybe like some backlighting. That's really, really cool stuff here, some vertigo even. So it's it's still very focused from, uh, focused on, on American movies. Um, um, you're not going to find the edgy, whatever, indie movie from that nobody knows except you um so keep that in mind but they're they're, they're extending um they're bringing in more and more and more movies and more and more shots i mean right now they're like at i think 150,000 shots or whatever um but uh, yeah blade runner pops up again and again um that looks really good so and then once you have these you can also mark them you can you can add them here into into a deck so i have like just my favorites and i have the deck i made for this um, patreon so you can um you can check everything let's say oh there we need to take these filters out um 
the exterior interior color let's see color cool i want to do something dark uh, and and bluish you can see here you really you have it right away and now the search is so much easier and you know that everything you look for here is going to be of really high quality um, so you don't have to spend time finding uh, i don't know uh, the odd website or whatever screenshots you can find on google you have it all all here laid out for you so let's uh let's close this one and um move on to uh let's move on to the actual building oh i can actually show you the images of course i collected i should mention that um takes a few seconds to load so this is the kind of mood i want to achieve um it's kind of uh, really dark with like some lights in the background um there's a lot of fincher in there and a lot of blade runner i guess some alien shots are also kind of kind of there although they're like the bit too purplish something from uh shining as well um that kind of gets the mood across with like these like steely colors um although i like i really like the the kind of like warmer yellowish tones that are in these uh, images from seven and um but we'll see what i what i settle on in the end so yeah let's get going